Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Yota. I'm thrilled to have you here today. And for today's video, I am doing a first impressions on my brand new YSL envelope bag and also my Gucci slides. Stick around. All right, before we get started, my bag of the week. Yes, it is still my never full. I'm loving this bag. I just feel like it's a love story that's been reunited. <laughs> I wanted to pick it back up for the past two years and now that I have I cannot put it down So I'm really really loving my Neverfull. Here she is All I have to say about this bag. I can just sum it up in one word. Wow. <laughs> I Love this bag the YSL Envelope bag. I'm calling her by her rightful name. I think I'm Mistakenly called her the college bag. This is the envelope bag the one that's flatter I think that's what I really love about it because you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it with uh, one strap, or you can double the strap. It's very versatile. Now, the, this size is the large. It might be a little bit big for crossbody, but it can be worn crossbody. So I love that option. My first impression on this bag definitely it is a showstopper, but it's very functional. I I see myself carrying this a lot because I used it for almost two weeks straight before I finally put it away. It was really hard to put it away and I can see that cost per wear, this bag is definitely going to be worth the price tag. Now the price tag is steep, probably more steep than most of the YSL bags. So that would be really the only con that I can think of with this bag which is around $2,500. I don't know the exact amount, but it's about $2,500 for this bag. But it's one of these bags. It is so durable. I think it's calf leather, and I love the fact that you have the quilting and the chevron. It's like you get the best of both worlds. Of course, this beautiful YSL symbol. I love this color with the gold. I looked at the black one and it was the one that I really almost bought, but I don't know. This one is just very eye-catching and when you're wearing a black outfit, it just stands out. I told you guys this is a workhorse of a bag. It's very strong. This bag is very structured and I find myself really loving structured bags more and more. I used to be a hobo girl. I'm not really crazy about a hobo, a sloppy looking bag. This one just looks really sleek, really sophisticated, and I love the structure and I love the craftsmanship on this bag. The quality on this bag is exceptional. The magnet is so strong, you have to really pull on it to get it open. Look at that beautiful interior. The inside is black and it has a zipper pocket here. I normally put my keys there and it's all black. And another thing I really love about this bag is there's no need for an organizer. I mean, you could put one in there if you want to, but I probably won't. I don't carry pens in my bag or anything like that. And what makeup or lipstick I carry, just usually a lipstick, I put in my makeup bag. So I probably won't get a Samorgo or a, an organizer for this bag because it is, you know, just an open hole, but I don't feel the need for an organizer, which is less cost because when you purchase these organizers, that's added cost with your bags, which of course, if we spend this kind of money on a handbag, we want to take the best care of it that we can. But I also love the back pocket and it's huge. I absolutely love it. So it's, you know, I usually just slip my phone in the back pocket. You guys have heard me say this before, my Gucci Marmont in the large size. I absolutely love it. I love the heart on it. I think it's really girly. A lot of people don't love that, but I wish somehow they had put a back pocket on that bag and then the heart right here. That would have been perfect. Having a back pocket for me is just an added bonus because it's more space to put things and I just love a back pocket. It doesn't have feet. It definitely does not have feet. And I guess another con about this bag, it does sit up on the table, but you have to kind of 
sit it carefully because it, it does tend to fall over because look, it's very thin. Look at that. It's not very wide on the base, but I was at a restaurant, well, before the quarantine all started and I sat it up on the bar and I had to just kind of place it carefully. You can place it in an upright position, but it will fall over if you're not careful. I put my phone in here and you can put so much more in there. So it just makes it so convenient. I do feel like this bag is not quite as popular as the YSL College bag or the Lulu. I, I feel like those two bags are more popular and you see them more, but this bag, I think that's what, that's a pro for me because you don't really see this bag that much. It's not everywhere. I have seen it on Instagram quite a bit. I looked on YouTube and there's not really that many reviews on this bag. So I like the fact that you don't see it as much. Maybe it's because of the price point, I'm not sure. I don't know, I just don't think it's as popular as the other two YSL bags. And that's definitely a pro for me. And also, you don't see this colorway as much as you do the black and gold or the black and silver. So I just think this is kind of a rather unique bag. So we'll sum it up by saying this bag is very user friendly. It's very versatile. It's very strong, like a workhorse. I mean, I, I just don't see how you could mess this bag up. You could, you know, you could be rough with it if you wanted to and it doesn't scratch. It's just a very durable and strong bag. So there's so many pros to this bag and I feel like, you know, 10 years from now, it will look the same way. And I also feel like this is a very classic bag because it is a flap. And I think it just has that classic sleek design, very sleek, very classic. And I don't really think that this bag would go out of style, which you guys know how I am. I don't really care if something's out of style or it's not the it bag. I don't care about that because, you know, I keep seeing so many videos about the Gucci Marmont and I love my Gucci Marmont. So, I just feel like, you know, carry whatever you like. It doesn't matter what ev everybody else says, but I do feel like this is a classic looking style bag and I can see myself carrying this for years to come. Now, there is one thing that I've just thought of. You know, it comes down in a point like that, like an envelope. It's the envelope bag. I don't really reach here where this point is and open it. I just reach to the side and open it that way because I don't know I feel like years from now if I reach here in front I could curl it upward or misshape this part here so I just reach to the side and pull it open which is no big deal I've been doing that and I'm used to opening it up like that so um, yeah oh and here's another pro these beautiful straps that make it so comfortable on the shoulder. And I also love, let me hear that sound. <laughs> so this is just an amazing, amazing bag. I will be incorporating this with my looks and on Instagram when I do my outfit of the day. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, go to Instagram, Yota Style Lux, L-U-X, because when I do my giveaways, it, all, it is a requirement that you follow me on YouTube and also on Instagram. But I really can't think of anything else to say about this bag, except I love it so much. It's absolutely fabulous. And if you're thinking about this bag, don't think any longer, just go out and get it because I feel like even though it is a bit pricey, it's one of those bags that I'm going to reach for time and time again, year after year. And I absolutely love, love, love this bag. Next is my Gucci. <laughs> I can't get a hold of them. The Angelina Logo Canvas Platform Slides. That's the name of these. Angelina Logo Platform Slides. Okay, these are the ones that I kind of pulled a fast one and purchased them. And you guys, Keith was watching one of my videos over breakfast. I was just showing him some of my B-roll and I practically busted myself. He's like, Gucci, when did you get those? <laughs> I was like, oh, I've had them. <laughs> I'm such a liar. Oh Lord. Okay. So <laughs> 
I love these so much. Now, I did tell you when I first unboxed them, I told you they only came in whole sizes. I lied, <laughs> not intentionally. They do come in half sizes. And when I ordered the first pair, I ordered an eight and a half accidentally. And when I tried them on, I thought they felt too big or floppy. So when I looked closer, I saw that I had a, a larger size and it was eight and a half. So I thought, oh, they do come in half sizes. So I reordered them in a seven and a half and they fit perfectly. Now I have several other pair of Gucci shoes and I, no wear, I normally wear between a seven and a half and an eight. And so seven and a half on these fit perfectly for me. So I did exchange them and I told you guys, I mean, you can look at them and see that they're very substantial and they are a bit weighty. Like when I'm holding them like this, you know, I can actually, I can feel the weight of the shoe, but when I put them on my feet, not so much. I do have to admit, I've been wearing them around the house and I do find this part here has to be broken in a bit. It's not uncomfortable, but a little annoying. So I think that I just need to wear these and kind of soften this part up. The footbed is very comfortable. Look at how beautiful, I love that color. Look at this. I had some subscribers say to me that these two together, I'll totally rock this together. Now you guys know I don't really like to wear tons of designer stuff together, like, you know, four or five different designers at one time, but two, like I would, I would totally do this. Now I wouldn't wear a Louis Vuitton belt with it <laughs> or a scarf or something. I just, you know, I like to keep it as, as a minimum and I do think this is really pretty together. So yeah, I would wear those items together, but these are very comfortable. They're kind of, I mean, they're thick. I had someone say that, you know, they didn't really like them and that's fine. We all have our own taste, but I love them. You guys, I have a real problem when it comes to slides. <laughs> I do. I have a slide addiction, but they're a little thicker and the sole is really wide, but I like this because it gives me some height. I'm five foot three and I need all the height I can get, but they are I guess you would say these fit under the category of uh, being clod hoppers. <laughs> now we live in Alabama, so that's a real word here. These are definitely a pair of clod hoppers, and I said you could take them and you could hit somebody in the head with them and do some real damage with these shoes. But at the same time, I think they're really, really pretty. Okay, so that is all for my new additions to my collection, my first impressions. On these two beauties I highly recommend them love them both and I will be featuring them on Instagram when I do my outfit of the day all right so before I let you guys go I wanted to tell you the sweater that I'm wearing is like the gray one that I wore on my Oregon vlog it has the distressing just perfect amount it's a little oversized I bought a size large it has distressing here and along the bottom of the sweater. So this is one of my amazing Amazon finds. I will link this in the description box. I've been wearing my Gucci dupe pen. I wear it almost every day since I've gotten it. I just love it. And I've had several of my subscribers order this beautiful pen and tell me how much they loved it. And the quality is just great. You guys, this is 10 bucks and I, I don't know, I can't remember how much the uh, the Gucci, the authentic Gucci pen is, but I wanna say $370, <laughs> so I got two. And I will link this in the description box, I will link the YSL envelope and the Gucci slides, everything will be in the description box in case you're interested. And that's really all I have for you guys today. I love you guys so much, thank you for your support, you guys, are awesome. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Very functional. And, okay. Of the structure. Oh. So, but, Woo!
what am I saying?